All right, everybody, welcome to our course on frameworks in Python. I'm Jeff, this is Robin. And a framework is a layered structure that tells us what kind of program should be built and how they would interrelate. It will have a set of functions within a system that tells how to interrelate, what are the layers of an operating system, application subsystem, how network communication should be standardized, and the list just goes on and on and on. Yes, it does. In a good way. <laughs> It has features that translate the URL to an IP address and then route it, features that capture input, and features that format output. You may also require features to read from and write onto databases. The Django framework is the most popular. It builds semantic web applications. Pyramid is another popular Python framework. Web.py is a low abstraction framework. It offers only the essentials for web development. In this demo, I will explain how to install and work with Zope. So once you've got that, we're going to click to download Zope 2.11.4, win32.exe, and then execute the exe file. You'll need to change the directory, then select the different destination directory. So now the Zope installation is complete. We're going to start Zope on Windows by navigating to the Zope folder in the Start menu and click on Run Zope in the console. The desired output of HTML templating is written with placeholders for dynamic values. Later, placeholders are replaced by arguments to the stir.format function. Both Django and Flask are designed in such a way to utilize HTML. 